So we're going to delve into the world of 6x4 thermal label printers. Hey there, it's Tom Lee English Picker here. In this video, I am going to delve into the world of uh, 6x4 thermal shipping label printers. Now, I've had a Zebra GX420, I think it is, for a number of years now. It's a great printer. I, I bought it, I think, for about £150, something like that. Got it on a deal on eBay. Brilliant printer, it served me really well. It's really noisy. Uh, it, it's a bit blurry using Mac. It's really designed for PCs, but we eventually got it working with a Mac good enough that it's all right for Royal Mail click and drop or uh, pack link or the eBay labels, that sort of thing, or parcels to go. Uh, so it's been an absolute trooper. I can't recommend thermal label printers enough. Um, but I needed a secondary printer because my home office, where I print a lot of the stuff out, is is basically in one of the bedrooms, which is next to the other bedrooms. And having a little, you know, toddler, uh, my lad, when he goes to bed, I can't do any printing. So what I decided I needed to do was get a secondary printer, probably for my unit, um, so I can print there and, and finish off doing post of an evening. Uh, so I looked around and I noticed that on eBay, there's uh, different sellers selling a unbranded, brand new label, 6x4 label printer for £100. So I thought, you know, tax deductible, it's £100, we'll give it a go. So I ordered that uh, probably about a week ago, uh, five days ago. And it's turned up today, so we're going to unpack it and we're going to have a look and try and see what the quality is like, see what the compatibility is like. It's supposed to be uh, Bluetooth, which would be brilliant if it is, because then I could just sort of take my laptop down and, and press print. Um, so, yeah, let's get to unboxing it. So, yeah, it's arrived. The label print has come. So uh, let's have a look at it. This is the first time opening it for me. So, let's have a look around the box. It says here, barcode label printer model. Uh, support Android and iOS. Um, supposedly Bluetooth. So, drivers, which is great considering my um, MacBook Pro does not have a CD drive. Instruction manual. And it is in there. Looks like one of the early Zebra printers. Um, seems a fairly good build quality. So we have got UK power. That's just a kettle lead. And I think there's um, yeah, USB. So I would always do USB. Oh, okay, so here's the uh, thing. It all seems... Pretty good quality. As I said, I, I paid a hundred pounds for this. I'll take this out one-handed. This is difficult to do. One-handed. There we go. Decent build quality. It doesn't doesn't feel cheap. It feels the same sort of quality plastic as a typical one. Yeah, there's the uh, thing, and then I'm assuming you open it like that. Can't do it one-handed, but yeah. There's the uh, tear-off strip. So yeah, I, I'm I'm pleased with the build quality so far. It just depends on how how easy. Um, it is to connect that Bluetooth with the drivers. So I will try it plugged in first, but it is slightly cheaper quality plastic than the the um, Zebra printer that I've got. But um, yeah, let's have a go at printing some stuff. 
I finally did get it open and this is the view inside. So fairly, uh, pretty much identical. The print head looks identical. Uh, all the, it just looks like a, um, you know, a third party, third party one. And it's, it says that it takes any labels. Um, so yeah, that is, that is nice. So, um, let's get some labels in there and uh, have a go at printing some stuff out. Right. So we've got one of the rolls from Royal Mail. Um, I'm just going to pop this in here. Lock it. Oh, that's good. You can lock it in place. That's already better than the, the zebra labels. Or zebra if you're in America. And then you unlock it there. Fits in nicely. There's a little lock there. That feels like I'm doing something wrong. Is that actually too big? That actually feels like it's too big, the rollers. It is too big. No way. It's too fucking big. No way. I can't be right. So, it appears that it doesn't fit full-size rolls in. Now, I know things like the Rolo and stuff like that, you can use the, the folded-up ones or have a roll behind hung up in a box on, like, a chopstick or something like that. Um, but this having this compartment seemed to imply, like, you could have the roll in here, so... For me, that is a huge downside. Obviously, when it gets smaller, I can, I can put it in here. And I have actually got some half-size rolls, but, you know, for me, having it, it's taking up more space. So, ah, that's annoying. So let's try and plug it in and see if it actually prints. Right, so after installing the drivers on my mac which has probably installed god knows what malware on my computer since um it's made by who knows what company and the drivers had to be sent to me via a message on ebay to a dropbox where i downloaded it so and uh yeah uh, i've been provided with a um test print from the company itself in with the drivers to try it so i'm gonna press print now and let's see what happens i've just Loaded a few strips in there um, so you can pull it through and then the, the roll which is over here uh, I'll, uh, I'll fit properly. So here we go. This is plugged in direct though so. Okay. I'm not doxing anyone by showing the address because it is the company's address. Um, not bad. It's clipped off slightly there, so I'll need to adjust the scale, perhaps. It's cut off a number there, so I'll cover the address just in case, but not bad resolution. You know, that's certainly enough for Hermes to, to use it. I'm reasonably happy with that. <clears throat> I mean, for a hundred quid... You know, it'll do. If it works with Bluetooth, I'll be happy. I still would probably go for one of the main brands like Zebra or Brother. Um, obviously, you're going to be paying double uh, what this one goes for. But, um, uh, uh, you know, it depends how much you need that Bluetooth. But that's my initial impression. So let's try and do the Bluetooth now. As you can see, it's not plugged in by USB. So we're going to try and print via Bluetooth on this. So I've got a test label here. Uh, let's have a go. See if it works. And that will be no. Right, so that was an epic fail. Turns out, according to the eBay listing and various other sources I've looked at, that this printer only works on Bluetooth with PCs. Uh, and doesn't work with Macs, so I am stuffed. 
Uh, that is so annoying. I wish I'd seen that. Unfortunately, in the eBay listing, it was in red text. The, all the text was red, which it made it really difficult to see. Um, and in the, the picture, it says Mac OS. And yes, it does work with the cable, uh, but it doesn't work um, Bluetooth. And that was kind of the point, really. Uh, I thought I could have it in a cupboard and print Bluetooth. I have installed a 250 label roll, uh, which does make it pretty nice. It's nice and neat now. It just means I'm going to have to keep it in the cupboard. And then any time I want to use it, I've just got to um, plug in the USB. We're just in my kitchen at the moment because it was a sort of a bit of better place to film. Uh, printed off a um, pretend this is uh, an American eBay shipping label. Uh, you can see it's pretty good. Um, I did print a Royal Mail one. It just clips the edge just slightly. But it's not too bad. That's 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 pretty decent. Uh, I did print out this, which is a packing slip for Amazon. But you can see there with a the smaller... Uh, I'll just cover up the information of the person's address. Uh, you can see there the, the quality of the text is a bit faded. Um, so, yeah, not the best for packing slips if I ever did want to print them, which... Um, sometimes I do on high value items, but you can just see that the text is a little, it just could do with being a bit darker now. I know with my zebra printer, the, there is a way of pressing this bu button to make it darker. With this, I've no clue. Um, anybody's guess. So it's all right for postage labels. So for a hundred quid, yeah. So for a hundred pounds for that printer, it's not bad. It's good if you're just getting into eBay. I'm going to use it as a secondary printer. The reason why I want it is so I can have a printer down at my unit, um, and or you know either down at my unit or somewhere away from my office because my home office is right next to the bedrooms. And once my lad goes to sleep, I can't print anything off. So I want a printer somewhere else so I can be printing postage labels there so that's why i got it and it was good unfortunately it lets you down if you're a mac user it was more complicated to install uh, and you can't use the bluetooth function which is a real downside now it's still 100 pound for a, a therm brand new thermal printer is decent so you're after one i would recommend it um but like i said it favors PC users. Also, you don't know how long it's going to be supported for. So there is that. So, you know, if if you do see a deal on one of the legit label thermal label printers, go for it. If not, this is a good, good alternative. It's a good secondary printer for me. So, yeah. Hope you find this video interesting anyway. Put your comments in the doobly-doo below. And if I have any updates on this, I will do a follow-up video. But that's it for now, so thanks everyone for watching. Bye.